This is National Native News. I'm Antonia Gonzalez. Hurricane Florence tore the roof off a school building that housed Indian education offices in North Carolina. The building also holds Lumbee records and artifacts. Rebecca Martinez of North Carolina Public Radio reports the damage is being estimated. The Indian Education Resource Center in Pembroke, North Carolina, had been full of art, ancestry records, and artifacts that are precious to the Lumbee tribe. Now they're trying to see what they can salvage after days of violent wind and rain. Rita Locklear is a former director of the center. The roof blew off and uh, it rained for several days in that facility until they could get there and get that covered and cleaned up from, from the roof damage that was done. Locklear says some of the art and other items have been salvaged from the building, but it's not yet clear they're out of the woods. There may be a need uh, in the future for some historians, some uh, experts, museum curators, people that uh, are knowledgeable about how to save those kinds of items and make sure the damage is not, you know, doesn't continue. The Indian Education Resource Center is housed in the historic Pembroke High School. The early Native American high school building is on the National Register of Historic Places. Locklear says construction crews have been working on preliminary repairs for the building, but there's still a lot of work left to do. For National Native News, I'm Rebecca Martinez. Alaska Governor Bill Walker recently signed an administrative order officially declaring a linguistic emergency for Alaska Native languages. In a report released this year, an advisory council warned all the state's indigenous languages are at risk of extinction. KTOO's Adeline Baxter has more. The administrative order signing took place at the First Alaskans Institute's Social Justice Summit. Central Council of Klingon and Haida President Richard Peterson was one of several Southeast Alaska Native representatives who welcomed attendees. And and you hear this a lot, and it's true. When we know who we are, we don't hurt ourselves. Right? When we know our language and our culture, we don't hurt ourselves. Peterson described his own experience struggling with addiction while growing up in Kassan in Southeast Alaska. I'm 16 years clean. You know, you carry shame. But it was always my culture where I was able to let go of shame and know who I am. Leaders like Peterson hope that Administrative Order 300 will help communities reconnect with their culture in a meaningful way. The order requires state commissioners to designate a tribal liaison responsible for producing a plan to better collaborate with Alaska Native partners. It specifically directs the commissioner of the Department of Education and Early Development to promote indigenous languages in public education. The administrative order also directs the state to use traditional Alaska Native place names on public signage going forward. The order came about following April's passage of House Concurrent Resolution 19. That resolution urged Governor Bill Walker to declare a language emergency for the state's 20 officially recognized Alaska Native languages. Walker applauded the work of groups like the First Alaskans Institute. He also acknowledged the role the state of Alaska played in undermining and discouraging the use of indigenous languages in previous generations. I know we need to celebrate where we are, but boy, if you don't reflect on where you've been, um, it really is only part of the discussion, part of the celebration. Of the Alaska Native languages addressed by the order, one has already lost its last native speaker. The last fluent speaker of EAC died 10 years ago. In Juneau, I'm Adeline Baxter. And I'm Antonia Gonzalez. National Native News is produced at the Annenberg National Native Voice Studios by Kiwanak Broadcast Corporation. Funding is by Odawi Law Group, provider of Indian Law Solutions, and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, with support from the Public Radio Satellite System. Support by BNSF Railway, one of the American Indian Science and Engineering Society's top 50 employers. You can join us at the ACES Conference October 4th through the 6th in Oklahoma City. Info at AISES.org. For Native Americans affected by domestic violence, the Strong Hearts Native Helpline offers peer-to-peer support and resources. It's safe, confidential, and toll-free at 844-7-NATIVE. Program support by the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center. Native Voice One. The Native American Radio Network.